Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm very happy you're here. I want to welcome all of my brand new subscribers. Thank you for commenting and telling me that you're new. I love to hear when I have new people, and I hope you'll continue to comment so I know you're still there and enjoying the videos. And hugs and kisses and lots of love to all of my longtime viewers, all my friends and my, my girlfriends, my posse. <laughs> So anyway, welcome everyone. And today I have Stack Your Stash. Everybody's very excited about this. So hopefully it's still a um, well-loved video and you guys get something out of it. You know, I'll try to come up with new things if I can, or if I see something from someone's channel and I think, ooh, that'd be a great Stack Your Stash, then we'll do it, right? So, um, cause I watch a lot of videos, so I get a lot of inspiration. So anyway, um, today we're going to do that, and before we get going, I thought I would go over, I'm going to move this off to the side for just a minute, the, um, oh goodness, something got left there behind, um, the little booklets I did last time, I'm calling them pocket books, and um, they're, they're under the Regency era, and they're kind of a little pocket book that a lady would put in her purse, or her little rectangle, and um, she would put maybe some samples of wallpaper, carpeting, clothing. Uh, this is going to be your sample, um, you know, little bag, her, her little clutch purse that she carries around with her in her purse. And it has all kinds of samples of things for her home and for herself. And I haven't completed it. I need to put something here. Um, I did stick some more sample cards here. This is from High Society, and a lot of the papers here are from Chapter One Papers, right? But not everything. As you know, when I made this, this is made out of a lunch bag, a paper bag, and it um, and it started with uh, just things that I had copies of, you know, um, like right here, vintage uh, documents, and you don't have to use anything that is um, a digital, right? So, but I'm just showing you the ones that I put in here. These are like little samples of mirrors that maybe she wants in her house. And there's some notes as to purchasing it and how it would look on the wallpaper that she's considering. So it's kind of a decorator's little handbook, um, notebook, pocketbook. I did put her here. I do want to put something there. Um, and then, of course, I want to put something back here. Now, do I have everything out of all the pockets? Let me look. Because there's so many pockets here. So there's one there. There should be one right here. Yep, here's another one. Uh, let me see if I can get it out. I pushed it down in there too far. I got to put, one of the things I need to do is add a little bit of lace to the top so you could um, get stuff in and out. So I still have, like I said, I have a little decorating, but I thought I would show you because the last thing you saw were very blank books and... Um, there's a line in the paper bag that catches, and I'm gonna have to next time make sure I glue that seam of the lunch bag down better. So you kind of get the idea of what I'm gonna be doing with these. Um, this one, I haven't done a whole lot. I do need to, I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna put this in there. Again, it needs lace. I've got that in there. Uh, I have this over here. So I've started this one. So I have these two that I'm working on and they're part of a new series that I'm doing. I'm doing a Regency High Society series. Um, so you're gonna be seeing a, a variety of things made for it. Not all one digital, not all just book page. It's gonna be a combination of every single thing that I like to use. So as you can see, they're already, you can see my, my um, style is peeking out of here already here. Um, so, it, and I'll probably add a word there. I want to put something over here. I'm going to add some fabric samples and laces to these pieces. So, you know, it's just a starting. And these are just a couple of the cute little things that are going to go into the High Society series that I'm doing. Um, and it's Romantic Regency era. So it's a royal romance era. Um, very royal, very romantic. Jane Austen era. So it's going to be kind of a combination of the three. And we're going to be interesting to see where it goes. As you know, I don't always know when I start a project where something's going to go. So uh, it's not going to be the only thing I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to be finishing up my next two, my next videos when I'm doing one that is not like uh, a hashtag one will be I want to finish this one this needs to get finished 
it's not done and it's in the same era so again we're using that same era that needs to get finished um it's been sitting for two years waiting to be completed so time to finish it right hold on one minute then i have this big um vintage rose elegance okay and um it needs to be everything needs to be sewn in and I need to finish this up. It's really close to being done, I think, I think. But it's been so long since I've worked on it. Uh, a lot of the digitals in this one are Christy Everlasting journals, but there's also uh, others as well as things that are non-digital related. Like those aren't digitals, right? So they're just sprinkled throughout this for the elegant ladies. You know how I am about my elegant ladies. So yes, I will do di use digitals that have photos of elegant ladies. Now you can buy those things too. All those things that are pre-printed or um, cards or all those kind of things on Etsy. If you don't have a printer to print, you can buy things that are already printed for you or that are cards or, uh, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, I have all this. So I am working on this bits and pieces. Um, Again, I only got to work on it a little bit last year. I didn't get to finish it. So my goal this year is to finish some of these journals, excuse me, that I have. Lunch is giving me fits here. Um, <laughs> that I have started. So you're going to see a lot of these things worked on or just shown, you know, if I'm not working on them on a video, they'll be shown. Um, so I just wanted you to know that, that I'm going to work on those or my next two projects but one of them definitely goes with what we're doing right now so here you go but I need to build my stash so I can fill those I do have for Christy's journal I call it Christy's journal I have like all of this we made last year you guys look at all this right to go in that so like I said it's a... oh uh yeah oh and uh one more I mean this one too Right, so I'm really ready to get on that and get that done. And then take those pieces and put them in a basic journal. Now, part of what we can do in Stack Your Stash, and let me know if you want to see, well, I don't know if we would do this as a Stack Your Stash, but I'm gonna be doing, so that I can use all like those kind of pieces that I just showed you, just basic neutral journals. These are just made from vintage papers and copies of papers, copies of vintage documents. And they're just a basic, not a lot, there's nothing in them. This one's a funny one that I put together. I don't, I don't think I could teach this. Um, maybe I could, I don't know. You'd have to be really patient with me. And you'd have to get the really big papers. I guess you could do a smaller version like this one here. But it's just mainly, I just glued together things that were coffee dyed and created a little like, I don't know, folio folder. But then I also like these journals that are just neutral. And I can take all those pretty things that I just showed you, put them on here and make something lovely, hopefully. Then I had some little cute little notebooks that are just all of the little basic papers together. So these are all things that you could build these in your stash really easy. Um, I just don't know that I want to build a whole bunch, so I'm not I'm not sure. We'll, we could talk about it. You guys let me know what you think of the neutral stack. Just say you want to see it and just say neutral stack. And I'll know you mean these kinds of things or which things you want to see. I'm not sure, you know, what I want to do with those at, at the moment. So anyway, let's get on to our stack. Your stash, let me see what time we are, how many minutes we've used. Oh, we only used eight, nine minutes. That's okay. So... I think I need to be, I think I know when I need to be done. I just want to make sure it's going to get dark in here. It's uh, another cloudy, rainy day in California. It doesn't always rain during the day, but it did the other day. Every time I've told you it's going to, right after I finished my video, poured. So, <laughs> you know, I don't know what you're going to get. All right, so here's a stack your stash. Uh, this is going to be our first one, and this is a side tuck. Now, let me grab that little blank journal that I just had in my hand here. It's already stitched in, so it's going to be easy for me to, to show you. But it's just something that goes down the side of your page. You can put it on the edge, and you, you have a little pocket here. You could just glue it down on two sides and tuck it in there and decorate it. Or if you didn't want to close it, you could just wrap it around your page. You have a pocket and a pocket over here. A tuck and a pocket, whichever you want to do. 
So I may not pre-glue these. I may just fold and do my punch, but it's, a, it's a stacking your stash. It's getting it ready to go so you're not having to stop everything that you're doing and cut and paste and, you know, ink or whatever you're going to do. So, oh, excuse me. That was kind of a rough landing. <laughs> So how are all you guys? I hope you're all well. I want to thank each and every one of you for all of your kind, supportive comments um, from my video on Wednesday. I really did not mean to start any kind of, um, oh, controversy or whatever, but I was having feelings about what was going on and it was really affecting me. So I really wanted to, you know, now what I've done is there's about, well, there's two pages here. So, and this is an old book. This is not, it's probably antique, but not vintage, right? I mean, it's vintage, not antique. Uh, difference is antique is over 50 years old. Vintage is under, but older than, you know, like 20 years. Vintage is everything before 1900, 1925, 1930. Antique is everything older than, than that. So I'm just going to do these together. I'm going to mass make this. Boom, there you go, right? I am gonna do a little inking on both and see, I just take these two pages apart. Boom, now we have three. I'm in the boom today. I don't know where that, I was watching a uh, video that guy kept saying boom. <laughs> so I think it must've, or it was a, a movie my husband and I were watching and he kept saying boom and she goes, don't say boom. And he kept saying it. She's like, you say it one more time and there's gonna be a real boom. <laughs> It was kind of a mystery kind of show that my husband and I, a series that my husband and I were watching on Netflix. Fool Me Once, I think it's called. I think that's the one it was on. But anyway, yeah, that's what it was on. It's, a, it's very interesting, very in, intriguing. It's called Fool Me, Fool Me Once and Mystery. Very good. Very, very good. So it's got a lot of plots and twists and turns in it, and I still haven't figured it out. And I'm usually really good at it. My husband goes, I can't believe you haven't figured it out. I go, well, I think the guy's alive. And she's, he's like, well, probably. So, but we're trying to figure out what everybody's connected to. So, okay, we have three of those. So it depends on how many you want to do. Um, and if you have different size books, you're going to get... Now, these are great for my tall journals, but they would not be good for uh, a six inch... Six inch journal let me see what smaller books i have um give me a second here i don't know where ugh. i did my um hold on i got my head down you can't hear me just a minute i worked on my project cart the other day and i had uh, um, oh, give me a sec here. I had a couple book pages all pulled out, and so I'm looking for some shorter ones because those are too too long. I want some short ones, but I don't want to use any of my really good old. Some of these are very old, and some of these are not. So those are tall books. Here's a shorter one, I think. Is it shorter? No. So I think what has to happen is, more than likely, these are all books I um, did. Uh, I am, um, what do you call? I augmented the books. You know, I took them apart, altered them. Yeah, that's the word, altered. Jeez, brain, come on. I can do it. Uh, I altered books. Well, this one is shorter. Um, and when I altered these and pulled out the excess pages, that's that basket you see. Yikes, right? And then, of course, I get books from my girlfriend that I told you about, and she, um, so they're falling, she has a stack of the ones that are falling apart that just didn't, oh, wait a minute, I want to keep that. Oh, I like these. Oh, these are all, no, are they all? No. Uh, I don't know, some of these have some really weird words on them, so hopefully we'll cover those, right? Um, what was I saying? Oh, she gives me the books that are falling apart. They got water damage or whatever from the previous people who had them or whatever. So anyway, so what I'm going to do to mass make these is I am. Now, if you want to know how to decorate, we'll do that in just a minute. We can do that. I'm going to, whoops, wrong side. I'm going to, I normally love these very curvy edges, but you can't, um, 
me see, could we? We could. Okay, we can leave that rough edge if we want by, I'm gonna fold these all at once. We're, ma we're truly mass making them, right? I'm gonna fold them all at once and I am. Then I'm just gonna take and punch them all at once. Punch my notch, my thumb notch. Because that tells me it's either a wrap around or a pocket, right? That we're gonna glue on there. We can, it could be a belly band too. If it goes through the middle of your page, if your page is wide enough and you go through the middle, it can be a belly band. So you can do that as well. Oops, I don't wanna cut off a thumb there. That was close, that was a close call. Eek. Now, if we think these are too tall, we can certainly, I don't know why I put that down there. I should just leave it close where I can get it, right? I'm gonna just take, that's really thick right there. I don't know how many pages I have here. I'm hoping I'm not gonna need to make too much. I'm gonna, these sleeves are bugging me. So give me a minute here. Oh no, I just broke my nail. Ow, goodness. Okay, well. I'm gonna roll my sleeves up so I can pull them up. I've got about three layers on. It's cold here today. It's in the 40s for California. That's pretty, pretty cold. Okay, so I made them a little shorter, but um, what are we at? We are at seven and three quarters. So that should fit in any standard journal, whether it's a wide or a skinny. Now let's see how many pages did we do? We did one, two, three, four. Okay, and they're simple, right? Common sense, not difficult. But it gives us something we can either put in the middle of the page, we can wrap around the page like this, and you could punch this side as well, or we can glue it together and make it a pocket, a double pocket, or make it a pocket and a belly band. So you could do all of the above with these, right? Now, if you're really mass making and you don't want to have to do a whole lot later, then you would go ahead, if you're gonna, if you're an inker, go ahead and do your inking now, just lightly. You can do more later, right? If you don't like it or you want to add another color or change it up. So this just lets you get these ready to go. I think my ink pad is done because I have re-inked it a million times. I've added water to it and it just doesn't seem to hold you don't seem to get much ink out of it. So I don't know. I even put a new dauber on for the new year. And um, cause the old one, I would, I was thinking, well, it's full of ink. It should be good, but it really wasn't working great. So, and it was shredding all over my desk. Oh my gosh. And then you get little bits of ink on everything, which you do not want to do. Just hit it lightly. You don't have to go crazy unless, you know, till you're ready to, if you're a heavy, heavy inker, if you like shabby or you like grungy. So in just a few minutes, we, I don't think I would use more than this, but you never know, I might. We just have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't like that odd number, so we need another one. Um, let's do 10 total, right? Let's get three more. Then I'm pretty good for a while, wouldn't you think? I would think I would be. I'm just trying to make sure it's not too ripped. Eight, nine, ten. Hopefully there it's a crime book on this one, I think. This I think this was a Dollar Tree one. Not something I would read, but you never know. Um, so again, we're gonna put that side there so we could keep it. It'll be on one side of your thing, your your page, and this is on the other, right? And then we're gonna punch out our little notch. We can trim them smaller or leave them big. I think I will trim that just, whoopsie, just a tiny bit on the bottom. I don't need quite so much of that white paper either. That doesn't do anything for me. I'm just gonna take off a little bit. Now that's vintage book page. Well, it looks vintage. I don't know, it looks like it. So I'm gonna keep it because I threw that other bit away forgetting. Guess what guys, I, yeah, well, wherever it went, it went in the garbage. I won't worry about it. Um, I like to stamp on those. Okay, guys, got a really rough nail. Hold on, I keep petting myself with that. I'm gonna be bleeding all over the desk. 
Won't be a pretty sight for you guys, right? <laughs> Blood all over my project. No, no, no. I just, because I just broke that when I put that down a minute ago. So pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Real world crafting. I'm having to stop and fix a nail because I don't want blood all over my desk. Sharp edge. Oof, I, I broke that dead straight across. I couldn't have done that if I tried. <laughs> all right, hopefully that will cause me less blood on the desk. <laughs> uh, I don't want to gross you out. All righty. Anyway, we're good. Put that down there. And gosh, I'm throwing paper on the floor again. These I won't ink. I think I'll leave them plain in case I don't want them inked or I want them in pink or blue or green or something because, you know, I use all different colors of ink. So now we have 10 pages that we, in just a few minutes, just a couple minutes, we've got 10 pages for our stack my stash. Now, I've got lots of different pages for us to do today. So let's see what we've got here. Um... Another super quick one is for long, narrow pieces that you may have, we're gonna make some of these corner pockets. Super duper easy. You can make them as tall or short as you want, as tiny or tall as you would like. I just took scraps that I had on my desk that were sitting there, and what we did is we just take and fold up a corner, try to match it up to the edge. I didn't do a very good job on that. And then fold it straight up. Okay, now, when you glue that down, you have a wonderful pocket in there and you have all of this that you can either decorate or whatever. Now this can be done in a printed paper and the paper could be scrapbooking paper. It could be whatever you want. I'm gonna see if I have any, uh, I forgot to look and I kept telling myself to do it and then blanked on it. Sorry about that. Um, oh yeah, I have one here. But the problem is it, these are single sided. So I guess that's why I didn't pull them. I don't think I have any double-sided scrapbook paper that I could, um, ouch, <laughs> as I run into the wall, uh, that I could um, use to show you this. But let's say if I want to have something up here, then what I would do is I would take this white section and I would fold it up, which we lose that lady, but that's okay. Now this one's pretty tall, but in a tall journal, yeah, that's eight inches. In a journal, that would be okay. Now this, you could either ink it or completely decorate it, cut yourself a little um, triangle to cover it, whatever you wanna do. So you can do it with that. And of course, you know me, I would on all of these, either round the corners at the top or, oops, this is very flimsy, kind of cheap scrapbook paper. I'm gonna fix this. I don't like, I went way over there. There we go. Then we go up. There we are. Okay. So this can either be inked or and decorated so you don't really see that. And or you could cut this as a tag at the top. I don't need to be mean to be hemming and hawing today. I'm not sure what's up with that. There we go. So we're just gonna turn it over. And I think this is the same on this one too, yeah? Yeah, so I can easily do it from here. I'm not being particularly careful here. Okay, so you have a tag with a pocket, tag with pocket, right? And you could do it with scrapbooking paper. Be great if you have double-sided. Oh, they would be fabulous, especially if they have some body in them. Ooh, beautiful. I don't think I have any scraps uh, long like that right now. I'd have to go look at all my paper pads and see. But this is, again, another, um, and you could do either side. This one's printed on, it's a copy of an original document, and it's printed on parchment paper. So we have a nice long one. Do I want it that long? No, not really, I don't. So I feel like it's a crazy tall Although, I would love it on there, wouldn't I? Or the other way to do this is, I'm going to go this way. Again, I'm going to do what I did on the other one. I'm going to try it folded this way. So just refold it. Yeah, so you can see all that print, and then you can easily just cover. This is easier to cover this than have to cover that whole thing, right? 
I was going to cut this down, but I kind of like the height. And you can always cut it later. Even if you rounded the corners or made it a tag, you can still go back and cut it off. I mean, you can always, always, always cut these down, right? So maybe I won't do that right now. Because I think this would be, like, fabulous in here decorated up, right? It goes along with what we're doing. Okay. I mean, this looks good in here, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I want to show you how these are used. So I'm just going to do a couple of these. Yeah, this one's kind of wonky. It's got a... It's got a boo-boo. So we'll go ahead and it's coffee dyed paper. I got these from Emily at Vintage Polka Dot Shop. Okay. Oh yeah, I love this. Love, love, love this paper. This is from Triple V Vintage. Hi, Veronica. Bernie. Ah, adorable. Now you have it that way, or if you don't like it that way, you can flip it this way, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go this way because I wanna see the print more. This one definitely is a darling tag. I think this will make a cute, cute tag. So let me see. I think these are kind of big. Well, maybe that's not so bad. These are my little, my little templates I made so I can have consistent. I just flip the paper over, use the same corner. That way it's being cut in the same way because when you cut backwards this way, it's a different angle. And so your sides are not gonna be very equal, right? So that's a tip for you. And how this would work is, now you, if you did not want to have all of that tucked in there because you feel like, wow, that's just too much, plus I'm losing a bunch of really pretty paper, you can just cut some of that off. This is what I do many times if I don't want to waste something. And, sorry, I just threw that. And then I'm just going to close this one side right here. And let me show you a trick. Let me show you a little trick. Then you could take your paper that you just cut off and you can put it on there and create a double pocket. So I'm going to do that, which if I thought a minute ago to do that, I would have inked this because it's a little white. Let me do a quick inking here. Mm, I love Veronica's papers so much. I don't know if she has any in her shop. I'm almost out. I actually need to place an order with her. Now, I am going to ink that because I've cut it. So I've cut the fibers and you can see the inside that it's not, even though it's coffee dyed, it still has a, a whiteness to it. And this one, I'm just gonna do a tiny little. Oh, so much for tiny, right? Gosh, it's terrible, 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 terrible. <laughs> it's sort of dark on the one side of my desk. So as long as I tilt my head a little bit and look at the other side of the desk, we're fine. The light's coming in from my right. And usually there's enough light in here through the whole room. Now I'm gonna push this all the way to the edge and the bottom and that gives me a double pocket. Wow, double pocket journal card, one, two. Put it on and then you're gonna have, depending upon if you put it down a couple sides, you can put in stuff this way or you can come in that way, depends on how you glue it on your page. So if it's like this and you glue here and here, you get a tuck. If you go all the way around, you got a pocket. If you go all the way around, you got a pocket. So that's how you do it. So there you go. So now I could cut some of this off same here, I can cut this off to decorate with. I only want a tiny little bit of turnaround, so I could do that. And since we have to decorate these anyway, we might as well. I might have cut a little too much off, guys. I got a little excited there. I don't know, did I get any glue? I don't even know if I got any glue under there. Goodness gracious, hold on a minute. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Now we're going to go up that. Oh, hello. Before we do that, let's do this. Before we glue it on, it's just much easier. If you're not sure if you want to use Distress Ink, because I'm an inker, I'm going to tell you, yes, yes, of course you want to. If you want some age on it, you want to look old and Victorian and used and all that good stuff, yeah, you want to do that. Now here we go. I've got this piece again that I can put on there and that decorates it up and you can have a double pocket. And yes, it's gonna be upside down, that's okay, or sideways or whatever, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter because I am gonna decorate it up, you know I am, so. 
is going in a journal at some point. That's the whole point. We're building a stash and we're sort of decorating a little bit as we go too. A lot of um, mass makes, they do want, they do like Tina, she does try to say, well, you know, you can decorate as you go. So we have one, two pockets. We've got a pocket here and one right here. So we've done that on that one. So, and I'll probably go back and do that to this one as well because I don't want to see that blank page. And I'm just going to glue this down to give us a nice turnover edge. And we'd already inked it a little bit. Let me ink this. Yeah, I, I, some of my, my original Tim Holtz pad lasts me like 10 years, but these newer ones, mm, not so much. I think maybe two years on this one, maybe. I guess that's probably still really good. Yeah, so you can do that. Oh, so then I could put a piece of lace there if I really was not happy with that edge or another piece of paper. So this one, yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. I wasn't gonna, but I was gonna leave it just paper clipped, but but you could see what you can do with these. So if you've got a single sided paper, don't be hesitant to use it because if you cut that little thing off there, it is gonna be great because you can decorate with it. It may be upside down though, so it kind of depends if you have OCD and it bothers you, which I kind of sort of do, but I know I'm gonna cover it up with some ephemera of some kind, something. And so now we have double pockets again, one and two, okay? So you get the idea. We have fixed all those, we have those, we have those, we have those. Okay, so these are your mass makes. Just make a few. This one needs something at the top. What does it need? Uh, I don't know, let's see. Okay, and this one, um, do I want to cut that off? No, I'm not in the mood. So I'll just, this one I'm just going to go ahead and kind of glue it down. And then I'm going to glue it down the side. I'm not being particularly careful. And then close it up. Okay, so now your pocket's ready to go. So you have all different kinds of papers that I use to create this. So you've got lots of ideas for what to use for your mask make for that one. How many did we end up with here? One, two, three, four, five, six, which is the minimum I wanna do. There we go. All right. Let's see what else have we got to make here. I got a pile next to me. Oh, got another good one. You're thinking, oh, you're gonna run out. No, I won't. <laughs> There's like a million ideas. And if we do, we just stop doing the stack your stash until we're ready. Now, what I did here is I have this. I just fold it in half and folded it back. I think I've used these in some other ones, but not as a mass make. So what I thought I would do is I would, my version of this one is going to be, this is a flippy thing. I think this is a Carol Laws. I'm not sure. I believe she's the one who did these first or a Rachel at Roxy Creations or both. Or maybe even a Wendy at Wendy's Journal Adventure. I don't know whose it was, so I don't know who to give credit to. But we'll give it to all three. How's that? Okay. But I don't know if they did the pocket thing. This is something I like to do, and I always do. So it's sort of a... That's my my take, right? My, my thing I'm doing. My version is to add a pocket up here. And um, I put a bunch in a journal like that recently. So there we go. All right, now you're thinking, okay, so now what? Well, now we want to close this on two sides. So we're going to go all the way down here. The barometric pressure is dropping outside. Yikes, my head. Um, that always triggers a migraine until the barometric pressure gets where it's going to go. Then I'll be fine. I just got to ride it out. Uh, oh, there's the rain. It's coming. Here it comes. Either that or I'm seeing things. <laughs> Let's hope it really is raining. <laughs> Otherwise, somebody needs to call an ambulance. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. 
Okay, so you have this flippy bit that you can stick something in. If you want, you could close it and make it a double pocket, lay it down, make it another double, duh, 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 double pocket. This would go on a um, regular size journal, uh, like a nine by five and a half, right? But if you wanted to use it on here, you could certainly fold this again. I don't wanna do it, but put another fold in it and create another pocket for it, right? So. Um, I'm not sure what this is going in, so I don't want to make it any smaller, but you could to fit in there. You could easily just add another, I would just kind of do another like fold back and fold forward, create another accordion, or you could fold it in, you know, but this is, or fold it this way. Uh, this is just single-sided paper, so I don't want to do that, but this is a floppy. So here we go again. So we have this one, and we're going to fold it in half, and... Nope, I'm gonna go this way. I went the wrong way, sorry guys. I got confused because it's a copy of a document. And then we're gonna, so you're gonna see plain, right? You think, ugh, well now you're gonna fold this back and you have this one, okay? So we're gonna fold it over. Boy, I didn't cut these very straight, did I? You're gonna fold it back. You're gonna fold it over. Oops, fold it over. These are all copies of original documents. And there's digitals out there just similar to them or just like them, I'm sure. Some of these documents are pretty standard for their era. These are the 1800s. And you're going to fold it over. And you're going to fold it back. Okay, hold on one minute, guys. It's getting dark in here. I have one more window I can open. I only have two of them open. I need to open the third to see if that helps any. If it doesn't, I'll turn on the lights. Alrighty, there we go. There's a little more light. From behind me, there's light now. I forgot to open that. I have the three big giant windows in here, so basically I have no wall. All right, and we're gonna fold it back. And we can trim up, of course, as we go. So we have three, one, two, three, four, five pages. We're going to want a six, aren't we? Okay. But before we do anything, we are going to go and just clip our little pockets. We're doing this mass make style. We're stacking it, but we're doing mass make, mass make style. And these are flipping at me, like, furiously. These are all documents that I have. I've bought... Uh, from Rachel or from Jacqueline 34, 40, oh, I can't think of her name. She's on Instagram. I bought some French and Italian documents and then made, you know, made copies for myself. piece of paper to make the sixth one. So I think I want six of everything for me. I mean, so those of you who do a lot of stuff, you may want to do, you might, mate, you might want to do more. Um, but, you know, I have some Rachel of Rachel's papers here. I'm looking to see if one of these would be. Ooh. The problem is when you fold them back, sometimes you lose all the beauty of the page. This is her Fret and Chateau kit. Rachel at Roxy Creations, for those of you who like digitals. As much as I want to keep, cater to those of you who don't have them or don't like them, um, I also have a lot of ladies, a lot, a lot, a lot, who um, are into digitals. So I can't ignore those gals either. You know, I have to try to do a little bit of everything for everybody. Hold on a minute. Had to go to Bertha there. I didn't plan on doing, I got to remember before I do this video that I pull out six of everything. I'll get it. This is new. This is a new project for us. So this is on linen paper. I don't know if you could see the, I don't know if you can see the, can you see it? Oh, probably not. Okay. 
don't know if you can see the fibers, but oh, it's fabulous. It feels good, looks good, feels like it's really old until you see the back side where it's bright white. <laughs> it does come in a cream and I got some, but I don't like it. That is, I don't know, wasn't crazy about it. I probably should use it for projects like this. Ooh, good idea. I'll have to dig the box out because we can use it for all the plain stuff. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. Well, we got a new idea. Well, thank you. You all helped me with that and didn't even know it, did you? Like I said, I'll try to use as many things that you can easily get besides digitals, but I'm still going to have to do my digitals, ladies. Still have to, have to, have to. I need some more ink. Going around in a circle seems to work the best for me. If I just dab it, I'm like going to dab it like 110 times, which is irritating for you and me, right? So I don't want to do that. And we are going to glue this down. So I either have to do a better job folding or, which wouldn't hurt, or a whole heck of a lot of inking. And I, I don't know. <laughs> Let's do this before I fold it, because I don't want to see all that white. I mean, it doesn't go with my work. I love white paper, but it just doesn't go with my work. To me, it's a non-color, right? And I'm a color girl. Um, where did my... Where did my... Oh. There we go. All right. I, I guess I could glue them all, but I want to see if I have anything else I want to do with you before I go through and glue all these, because that's going to take some time. So I'm just going to glue one or two. So you see that we now have a beautiful tall pocket. Let me see. I have some tags. So for this tall pocket, and this is just from junk paper, what you would do is you can load this pocket with a tag. Yeah, that's really tall. Yeah, this is cut pretty badly. I have to go back and clean it up, but oh, this one's good. Is this one too tall? Not really, not really. Had something glued on the back. Yeah, I took and cut up a bunch of my um, uh, scrap cardstock and made little tags out of them. Excuse me, I have the hiccups again. Real life crafting. crafting. Um, there we go. And so I just made tags and things out of them if I could. I used my tag punch. Like, okay, so that is what you're going to see on a page. And of course you wouldn't want it that tall. That's really crazy tall, isn't it? I never thought it would be so tall. I think both of these need to be. And I just stuck them into the top of my little tag punch and made tags out of strips. Easy peasy. I'll show you in just a minute. Let's cut off. Oh, let's cut off a little bit here. More scraps. Ugh, scraps, scraps, and more scraps. This one needs to be cleaned up, but I can't do it on there. There we go. I'm just giving it a quick, 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 quick clean up. Quick. And they'll probably get covered or whatever at some point, right? So it's not like it's a big deal. This is from when I glue tags onto backing and then I cut the tags. So, anyhow. Now, I'm. this is not meant to be all over the place. I'm always going to have to get up and get something, guys. Always. So, uh, just because you can't think of everything. I don't care how thorough you are unless you're just going to do that and nothing else. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's what I was trying to show you. Now, where's that other page I had? See, then this one. Did I glue this one already? Yes, I did. And this one's shorter, because that's a taller page. You just never know how those pages are going to come out. But there you have it, a shorter page and a taller page. So now we have six done. These we'll go back and glue later if we have time. And we've made these, so we'll be adding. Oh, look at you guys. Our pile for today is growing. All right, I want to get to these. These are really, I've been trying to get these done. Now, um... This, these are from a digital, but you don't have to use a digital. You can get the real thing if you can get, get a hold of real cabinet cards. 
Or if you don't have cabinet cards and you don't want to use ladies, that's fine. You can just use, these were leftover, not that one. These are leftover scraps from something I was making. So we'll, I'll show you what I made first and then we'll finish them up. Okay, so these are the ones I haven't used yet. Put those over there. All right, so this is my first one. She's not decorated yet, but if you flip her over, we have a hidden note paper. So you can write a note and isn't that cute? And so I just used some coffee dyed paper and a, ta a tab out of a scrap, right? I made a whale tail tab. This one we pull out and the way I put it on, we have a little hidden pocket plus writing space. Plus if you want to decorate this, you can, or you can write on it and add a little something. This one uh, was some pink Kool-Aid paper. You pull it out and again, you have a nice little pocket to use right here. Put a card in it. This one, this is a piece of like onion skin that is coffee dyed and I didn't put a pocket in that because it's thin. So these make great stash busters because here are the plain ones that you would decorate later. I mean, it's this was from I think scrapbooking paper or something. Now, something else you can put on the back of these, which I'll do on this one, is take a piece of paper and these are, this whole thing was inspired by Edith at Scrapbooking With Me. She did these and I'm in love. These are actually her digitals. They're a freebie that she had. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to have this whole big piece of paper, right? Like this. Fold it up. Fold it over. Okay. Now check the size of your, ta your so it's too big. I do need to cut it down. So I will do that. This isn't as quick for stash building, but it still stash builds. It still does. I'm gonna probably wanna take off a good quarter of an inch. Let's see if this is four and a quarter. Let's try four, see if that's gonna cut it. And then let's do, come on you, get off of there. I'm gonna, this is, we're gonna take off about a quarter of an inch. Okay, too small to use, into the garbage you go. This one I could, could stamp on some narrow numbers. Now what I'm gonna take is I'm gonna use one of these lovely ladies I have over here. Oh no, I was gonna use this one. Yeah, I'll use this one. Now I have to decide top from bottom. I'm gonna say that's my top. And I am going to glue this down and then when I pull it out, we will have a whole big sheet. Now if you would like, you can make that a pocket too. Right, so if you wanna make it a pocket, you can. But if I'm gonna do that, I am gonna round all the corners. I know it's gonna look funny, but we'll see how it does. I have not done it with the rounded corners, but you know how I am about my rounded corners. I think it'll be pretty when you open it, you'll get kind of a, a scallopy look. So you look, when you open it, you'll have that. Isn't that cute? I love it, right? Okay, so hopefully I cut it right, but but it needs to, I need to, oh, sugar. Okay, sorry guys, that wasn't a cuss word, it's just sugar. I'm not supposed to eat sugar, so, oh, sugar. <laughs> okay, I didn't quite cut it small enough, my fault. I have to take that off my desk because I need the room. Now, these are not as fast to make. These take a little bit more time, but that's all right. You know, not everything has to be quick. It's still a good stash buster. Take yourself some cards, basically a fourth of a piece of paper or cut your paper in fours and cardstock is good, scrapbooking paper, scraps, and add paper to the back and you've got the coolest thing. Now, if we would like, we can glue this on right here as a pocket if we want to make it a pocket. But I don't think that I will. I think I'll just glue it on. Well, maybe I will. You know, I hate to pass up the opportunity to have a pocket, right? You know I can't do it. I want to, but I can't. I always like to have pockets. Pockets, pockets, pockets. I have to have pockets. If I can have a pocket, I will. I learned that from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah when I was first starting out. 
she was one of the people that I watched a ton of. And so, now, I am just going to go right across here. And right across here. I'm not doing a good job because I'm holding this up in the air, but it's the only way I could see it. I'm just going to, okay, I'm going to put it on. And this becomes a wonderful, wonderful journaling card, right? I did not do a very good job of putting that on, but off. But this is not a glue we can mess with, so. Ta-da, 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 ta-da. Now, if you want to put a tab on that, oh dear, do I have any tabs? Where's my tabs? Do, do, do. Yep, here we go. Oh, I do have a tab, perfect. I see one that'll work very well. Let's see the front of this. I cut someone I had scraps the other day, so. Um, I try to have those pre-cut now so I don't have to stop and cut in the middle of a video or any other time. I can just do what I just did, pull it out, make it, and decide what I like for the front. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that on this paper. Now, if you put it on here, it's kind of weird. It doesn't open all that well, but if you put it on here, it'll open better. So you want to go in a little bit. You're going to see it because I have this really close to the edge and it's going to be sticking out. So maybe I won't put it out very far. I'll try to just like move it way in. I usually try to put it on the edge, but here it's not sticking out too bad you don't see it too much and if you put a little sparkler or some lace on that it's fine but when you grab your card and you go like that now you have your writing space okay so there you go boy it's getting dark out okay guys it's getting too dark for me to see so i am going to pop the lights on excuse me it was nice and light and bright when i started but that didn't last very long did it one second the lights have to come on slowly but surely because they're all in different places. There we go. Woohoo! There you are. Hello. <laughs> okay. Got some shadows, but you know, what are you going to do? So we have one, two, three, four, five of these. Oh, you know, we got to have at least six. So what else have we got here? We've got some dark ones. We have a blue one. I think I'm going to put that on the blue one. I've got some lighter strips here that go on here. I'll do these later off camera. That'll give me about nine or ten total, but I don't have to do them on here. I'm just letting you know. Oh, there's another one. Um, actually, I would like that on that one. So we could do that one now. I'll do these later. Oh, let me see my time. Ooh, got to move on. Come on, Lorette. You can do it. Well, that was everything I had on my desk. So, we did pretty good. We did pretty good. This one, I think I'll just, this was um, leftovers. So, this was a scrap piece of paper. Okay. I'm doing the edges just a little bit because I don't want it quite so white back there, even though I'm doing a fairly, this is a piece of parchment paper parchment copy paper is what it is it's not this it's not the cooking kind of paper I don't like this okay so I want to glue that on so the way to do it is well first thing I'm gonna do my corners because I don't the corners are rounded on that and I don't like the squares on the round it really bugs me that's that spatial thing I have all right now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue this down completely. I'm not gonna do a pocket here because I just want this as writing space. So, I don't need that glue. What glue do I want? I'll just use this one. I'm just gonna glue this. I wasn't sure if I was gonna put a pocket on it. And, now you will see all of these pieces again as I'm making journals. You'll all remind you, hey, this came from our Stack Your Stash. Isn't this exciting? Right? 
I never get this straight. Ugh, you can always go back and trim when you're done. And then you're gonna fold it back away from itself. It's not that easy, is it? And then you're gonna fold it again like that. There you go. And now you have all this lovely writing space to use, hidden writing space in your journal cards. Now I do see corners there, so I'm going to corner punch that. Very good. All right. You can turn this however you want because this is a plain piece. This does not have any uh, print. So if I want it to go that way, I can do it that way, or I can go that, put it on and go that way. Put it in a pocket. That's the goal is you want to put it in a pocket. These are pocket fillers. So today we have a lot of pocket fillers and pockets. Well, no, these are all just pocket fillers. Pocket fillers and side tucks and whatever. We have this one. No, this one to make the pocket, since I haven't shown you that, is you're just going to fold a little bit down here. You're going to give it a tiny bit of glue. <laughs> Close it up. Okay, and then you're going to take your thumb notch, whatever you want to use. I use a one-inch hole punch. And I do want to put, even though this is a coffee-dyed paper, I still want a little something there. Because I know what's going to go on this side, so I'm going to kind of ink that up to get rid of the brightness. And I'm going to, oh, I am. round my corners before I do it because these are rounded. Now, if these corners were square, I wouldn't worry about it. If they were corners, corners, I would leave it. Because this is a pocket, I am just going to go across, go down, go across. And this will be our last one for today. I wanna, I think. I think I'll be doing one bonus video for you guys. For the laces to make it the lace little lace thingies for the lace book I'm doing for those of you who like lace or or just want some ideas you don't have to be in love with lace to, to to watch the video but it might give you some ideas that you could use other products if you don't want to use lace if you have other things you want to put on there and again we're just gonna fold it back I kind of didn't do a great job And I can see the little corners sticking out, so we're gonna fix that. And if it's, is it hanging out? If it's hanging out, you can certainly trim it up because you don't need it hanging over the edges. All right, so there you have it. Ta-da, ta-da-da-da, ta-da. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, dramatic much, right? Okay, there we go. So, oh goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. I was trying to pick up some of this mess I just made. Goodness gracious. So, there you have another hidden pocket. She needs a tab there. Let's see, what color is she? She's blue, because I think I've run out all my... Oh, no, I haven't. Maybe. Is this too light? Oh, that's pink. We don't want that. That's pink. We don't want that. I've got something with a little bit of blue on it. I don't have a lot of blue in here. I didn't, I should have cut some when I was doing my blue project. I may have to go find some scraps. Ooh, that's a good one. Let's use that one. That's from a, a jewel design. It's from one of her papers, from one of her kits. I think that was her garden stroll kit, more than likely. More than likely. So I will put that on there because it's gonna stick out a little bit. We want it to show, so we'll add that and we may be done for the day. All right, you guys, I hope you're liking the Stack Your Stash number two. I'm going to number these so we'll know how many we did before we give up. I don't think we will because there's so many cool things being made out there. I just have to figure out how to do it so we can do it as a stash piece, right? So once I figure that out, then I'll make it for you guys and we'll, we'll make it, right? Okay, there we go. All right, so we have... One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six of these made. Remember, six is our medium number, six. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six of these 
corner pockets. So that's 12. And we have 12. We have uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 pieces this time. A little short of our last time. We had 30 something last time, 38, but we got 28 this time. So I'm pretty happy because these are a little bit more complicated than just the last ones that we did. And they really fit nicely in any journal, whether you're working on the tall journals or a standard size journal or even a mini. Just cut everything in half size-wise, you know, and it'll, it'll fit for you. And you can use any kind of paper you want and it should work very well. So thank you guys. You all have a, wow, what day is this? A marvelous Monday and a wonderful week. And I'll see you all again very soon, you guys. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.